the recent Auditor General. And before I had that discussion with him, everywhere I went, on my own, in, in the country, across the country, everyone said the priority should be roads. And that was my own feeling too. But when I had this discussion with him, he said he thought the priority should be power, electric power. And of course there will be different views that people will have. But when I put my team together, and it'll be a good team, we will discuss those questions. So we would then agree on what the priority would be for our administration. And because we will be doing this work well in advance, we will be agreed already on what the priorities would be. And we would then be able to tackle them as a team. If and uh, only if God's willing, he become president for Liberia, Mr. Todman, what will you do different from your father with regards to development? But I think the more important thing that I should have raised and didn't raise but will raise now, I would want to do more in the area where he worked to bring Liberians together, to give people rights that they had been denied, to allow women to vote, to make counties equal across the country rather than having people who living in the interior living as if they were colonies of the people living on the coast. Those are the kinds of things I would stress. Because if you look and see the structures that he built when the war came, because in those areas of unifying us and healing the differences among us, because we failed in those areas, the material things that he built have all nearly been destroyed. So what we need to do and what I would do differently is that I would put even more stress on unifying the country, enabling our people to have education, to be able to take care of themselves, because you can't feed, spoon feed people. They need, our people need to be self-reliant. Yes. One of the great things President Talbot said, self-reliance, he pushed that, and we should push it again. So if, you, if I were to do things differently, my stress would be even more on those intangible things, unifying us, making us forget tribal and other differences so that as one people we can tackle the problems of our country, each of us doing as much for himself and his family and consequently for his country. That is how I would do things differently. First of all, I'll thank you, Ambassador Tubman, for coming to all this evening to home a town hall meeting with us. My name is Edwin Chikuzin. My question is, I usually go to Liberia every year, and I have zero consent on security, as on security as well. Um, the private security setup is always a feeder system to the national security. But on the location I went to Liberia, after doing my own critical you know, assessment of, of vulnerability analysis, the private security center is not well equipped to serve a feeder system to the national security system. And uh, the national security apparatus is now also well equipped. So my question is, if one meal leaves today and you become an oppressor, what are some of the strategies you and your team putting together for we Liberians in the diaspora that will be confident to come back home to life? We have to find the solutions among Liberians. You cannot expect us, lacking the expertise that you have, to provide the things that we are lacking. We need people with the expertise, not only in the security area, but in all areas. And one of the benefits of our troubles in recent years is that many Liberians have had the opportunity not only to learn, go to school and get better education, but also to work in the various sectors, such as I believe you have done. 
So the first thing we would do would be to tap those resources. And since I sense a willingness in you to come and help us, I would offer you that opportunity at a very early day. Simba, you were born in 1941. If you are successful in well, the next president of Liberia, where you sit a second term. Thank you. Or whether I would seek a second term. Yes, sir. Uh, right now, I'm struggling to seek the first term. <laughs> if I am granted that, then the question of whether I would seek a second term will arise. But to anticipate that unnecessarily, and before I get the first term, tell you I will not seek a second term, I think it's just opening myself to what the incumbent faced. Because although she said she would not seek a second term, she's doing it now. So I think I should learn from her error. And not be able to find her. All I'm struggling to do now is seeking the first term. Thank you. I will be unfolding in Liberia. Do not have it divide us here further. We all have chosen where we feel comfortable in serving politically. I have chosen to serve with the mighty Congress for Democratic Transition. If you stand and look at the history of those who are associated with this, you will see that. Most of what we have done over the years, if I bring in particular, have been all devoted to the grassroots movement. I hold a degree in electromechanical engineering technology and never use it anywhere once in my lifetime. I put it aside to go back to school to get a psychology degree into education just to serve our people here. That's grassroots. What transpired today on the road touched me a bit. For us to bring our differences from CDC or coming to whatever party you are choosing this time to be so antagonistic, guys, it will not be helpful. I want you all to be convinced from here on, your next president in Liberia coming January will be Councillor Winston Tucker.